We start off, as we often do, with a blank canvas. Nothing on it except high hopes and the rotted, fetid stench of future failure. (laughs) Ha ha! Yes! Luckily, I use toxic paint, and the fumes help me to forget. Hmm. What? What, what, What are we talking about? Ah, right, 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 right. Riding bikes and ADHD. Mm. Guys, I suffer from it. Pretty amazing that I can sit and paint these paintings, you know. But, but I mean, I'm no abstract impressionist. I actually think about what I'm doing. <laughs> this isn't paint pouring or some damn mandala adult coloring book. Do, do y'all like those? Well, I feel the same way y'all do. Anyway, ice cream and tater tots, ringing bells and random thoughts. That's what I think. And I can tell you, it has made all the difference. Get on with it. Woo! Harsh but fell. <laughs> Did I say fell? I meant harsh but fair. <laughs> well, you know, as they say... Well. Didn't get dressed up for nothing. Tis true. This painting ain't gonna paint itself. I mean, that would be weird if things could paint themselves. Uh, I suppose uh, uh, body art is somebody painting themselves, but uh, that wasn't what I was talking about. It's like, what if the canvas actually started painting itself? I know, right? I mean, dang, man. This thing goes deep, brother. That would be insane. That would be crazy. Yes, get over there. I'm almost there. Jeez, everyone's a critic. Anyway, to be honest, when an AI program creates digital art, that is kind of like the painting painting itself. Eh? That's my only point. That's all I wanted to say. Fell enough. <laughs> it, 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 it's an homage to the earlier cock up. Fair enough. It's got to all come together. And honestly, guys, I don't want to start in the foreground until the background's complete. That's just not how I roll. Back to front. Yes, sir. Although sometimes I got to go back to the background, and, and that's okay. But if I can figure out mostly before moving on, then that just works out better for me and my process. Some people like to place the subjects in first and create everything around them. A digital artist, for instance, can use layers and they often work up close first and then fill in the the background as it relates to the foreground. Uh, Harder and not nearly as effective when I'm using acrylic paints like I am. What's your experience though? Do you work front to back, back to front, middle back front? Let me know in the comments. Speaking of digital art, did y'all catch my other video? where I planned all this madness? Check the card to link up to that video. Yeah, I, I find it's easier to use digital a digital workstation. Personally, I use my iPad so that I can easily move and arrange the uh, the, paint, the the painting's features, you know, like where the snowmen are gonna be and all that kind of fun stuff uh, for this painting in particular. Uh, make sure I like the placement. That lasso tool is great. I didn't intend to put a, a lake, a frozen one, in the painting. As you can see, if you watched the other video, that is, that it was absent, and that's okay. When it comes to reference photos, even if they hurt my own, even if I drew them, it's only a guide, and I can, I don't, I don't feel any need to stick to it uh, pedantically, you know? Nope. If I want to zig, I go ahead and zag. I <laughs> know what I'm saying. Get on with it! In music, there is an idiom that states, if it sounds good, it is good, even if it breaks the rules. Well, same is true in painting. If it looks good, it is good. A lot of painters reject structure, opting for their own process, which is cool. But oftentimes, we see rule breaking as the reason for the art. It's not art to communicate an idea, it's just used as a gross snip scene attempt uh, to pander to base emotions. I'm talking about uh, using offensive materials or breaking social protocol for its own sake. Some people try to be sacrilegious, you know, on purpose. I've seen poo used to paint the Virgin Mary. Mm. 
Whatever, man. Rules can and should be broken to further the statement you are making. The statement you are making shouldn't be breaking rules, though. That's how we get banana taped to walls, people. Check out this video for discussion on that idiocy. Okay, okay. I'm about ready to knock off the cheeky nonsense and get to the meat of this here painting, which, of course, is the snowman. Nah, nobody cares about no dang random wintry four scene. It's all about the snowman. So let's hop in. A lot of you might be wondering what exactly that wooden thing is that I'm using. Well, that is a golden ratio gauge. It's how I eyeball and measure where I want things. I always try to keep things on the axis of the golden ratio. It's just how I like it best. As mentioned earlier, some don't want to use the golden ratio, preferring to make things randomly and, and, and not as expected. Now, you know, I, I hear a little Ryan Johnson coming out, uh, subverting expectations. You expect the pain to look a certain way because that is where nature would put things. Uh, if you don't know, the golden ratio is found in nature all over the place, and it's just how we humans like to see things. Ask the Greeks, they knew. I see no reason to fight nature. Others do. And so you have square canvas and purposeful subversions of composition, making something ugly and awkward to find beauty. Well, that's kind of the idea anyway. And if you can do that, man, cool. If you can pull it off, it, it really is something special. But most cannot. Most opt to make discord and call that beauty. But it really isn't. And we all know it. Yet we place huge price tags on it and rich jerk-offs can pass huge amounts of wealth between each other a few million at a time with a single painting. Consider that. Anyway, when I paint snowmen, I have to work quick because I want the shadow color in back to mix with the highlight. A lazy way of showing three dimensions, and I am all about conservation of motion and energy. We will not be breaking the laws of physics in this studio, no sir. The light source, by the way, is on top right. I usually stay away from painting a subject right in the middle of the composition, but in this case, it just makes sense. And the firing line is going to be in a tight little triangle with the condemned on the other side. The apogee, of course, being the officer calling out the command of fire. And you know what? I think it's all for today. Let's finish this painting up next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to sub. See you next time.